Welcome! In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use Firebase functions, which is this new feature that Firebase has introduced, where you can write server-side code basically in your application. And I'm going to show how we can use it to create this push notifications app. So all this does is, it's a really simple app, and you can see it's probably a bit useless as well. But all you can do is type in the notification you want, and you can say, okay, I'm just going to type nonsense can send it and should get some notifications. So you can see here, everyone who's been subscribed gets a notification. If you want to follow along as I'm making this application, you can go to the GitHub repository, which is the URL that's right here. Make sure you go to the start branch and just clone that and then you can get started and follow along. So here we have just the basic starter repository. Just have some HTML, CSS, images, and let's just go through what is here. So as you can see, it's just a basic HTML page, of course. All we have here is the header, and this is where we're going to start actually adding content, a footer, and I'll add links for that later. And you'll notice that we have included the Firebase SDK, and we have it included using this weird notation here. And basically, this just will include Firebase. So when we use the Firebase CLI, it will automatically add it for us. And when it's hosted on Firebase, it will be automatically added. So we don't have to download anything. The SDK will already be there. I've also included the main JavaScript file, so you can see what that looks like here. We haven't really done anything here. It's just like the comments. And I've just included the main things we're going to be using. So Firebase authentication, Firebase messaging, and then the database. So here you can see the images, and then I just have like a basic reset and basic CSS. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, you can go through that, but we're not really going to discuss that right now. So the first thing we want to do is actually create our Firebase project. So let's do that real quick. Um, you can just go to your console if you've already signed up. And we just want to create a new project. So I'm just going to call it simply Notify, seeing as that's what it's all about. I'm just going to set Nigeria because that's where I am. And create project. So now I'm in the brand new project. And we don't really need to do anything now. I'm going to go back to the actual repository. So I'm just going to open up the terminal. And we want to initialize this project as being part of Firebase. And if you don't already have Firebase um, dev tools, just do npm install manage g Firebase tools. And I already have it installed, so I'm not going to do that right now. But you can just do that real quick if you don't already have it. Then what we want to do is Firebase init. So we want to just set up this project as a Firebase project. So I just press enter. So it asks up a bunch of things to actually set up the project. So we're just going to go through that right now. I'm going to increase the font just in case you can't see. Okay, there we go. So we asked us if we want to use all of these things, and we do. We want to use the database, host functions, and hosting. So just press enter. So now it's going to check all the projects that we have. And yeah, I have a bunch of products. But we just want to go and pick what we already chose. So simply notify. So it's going to ask us what rules, what file we want to use for database rules. Let's just do the default there. It'll create one for us. Um, it's also setting up functions. And yeah, we want to start installing all the dependencies for functions, which we'll get to later now. So it's going to do that. Then it's going to ask us what we want to use for public directory. So we just want to use the root. So I'm going to do that. Configure as a single page app, no. And we already have index.html, so make sure you don't overwrite it. So just press N. And that's pretty much it. It's, we're complete here. So I'm going to close this. And you can just see what has been created for us. So we already have index.html. We have Firebase.json, which just has a bunch of um, the configuration, what we want for Firebase. So it says where we're starting from um, hosting the database, where that is, all of that. It also created a 404 page for us and Firebase RC file. There's a bunch of information about this. You can go on Firebase documentation to find out, but I'm just going to go through this real quick. And we have the functions, which we'll come to later. 
So this is where we're going to write all the code for the notifications, the server side part of it. So now we can just serve our application to see what we have. Let's go to view integrated terminal and just run Firebase serve. And then it says we can go to localhost 5000. So let's do that. Let's go here, localhost 5000. So here we can see our lovely application. All it just has is like the headline, tagline, and that's pretty much it. We can see that everything works. And now we can actually start building stuff. 